morning and welcome to the Morning Expresso by the Indian Express. My name is Rahil Philippos. Let's get you started with the day's big story. Several states across the country witnessed violent protests against the government's new Agni Path short-term recruitment scheme for the armed forces on Thursday, with key NDA ally JDU leading calls for an immediate review of the scheme. The center announced a two-year relaxation in the upper age limit for this year since there was no recruitment in the services during the last two years. Under the original scheme announced on Tuesday, only aspirants between 17 and a half years and 21 years of age are eligible for recruitment. But on Thursday, the Defence Ministry said that the upper age limit for the recruitment process for Agnipat is increased to 23 years. The primary concerns and insecurity of those uh, protesting have to do with the temporary nature of the new scheme. Service is only for four years, pension has been removed and there is no lifelong healthcare benefit for the soldier and his family. There is also the fear that many of them may no, no longer be eligible. Uh, there has been no recruitment since 2020 and to become an Agnivir, an aspirant has to be between the ages 17 and a half and 21. Late Thursday night, the government granted a one-time waiver on the upper age limit by raising it to 23 years for 2022. Next up are our stories exclusive to the Indian Express. Suhas Palshikar writes on how the Congress should have responded to the ED questioning Rahul Gandhi this week. You can read his opinion on the IndianExpress.com website. Next up are our stories from the front page. Underlining that the rule of law has to prevail and no demolition can take place without following the due process of the law, the Supreme Court sought the response of the Uttar Pradesh government on a plea by Jamiat ul Ama e Hind, which alleged illegal demolition of private properties in the state following violent protests over remarks against the Prophet. Multitasking to strike a balance between his two roles as a sitting minister and a cricketer is all in a day's work for Manoj Tiwari. When his teammates hit the ice baths and put their feet up to re-energize in the evenings, Tiwari says he drives right into work. In an interview with the Indian Express, he tells us just how he does it. And now for today's must-read stories. The US Federal Reserve hiked interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point to a range of 1.5% to 1.75% on June 15th, its most aggressive move since 94 in a bid to tame runaway inflation. It has signaled equally large hikes later this year, which could potentially dent the already wobbly investor outlook across markets. How can this impact markets, including India's? When the Fed raises its policy rates, the difference between the interest rates of the two countries narrows, thus making countries such as India less attractive for the currency carry trade. A high rate signal by the Fed would also mean a lower impetus to growth in the US, which could be yet uh, another negative news for global growth. The Prayagraj Development Authority's decision to demolish the house of Mohammad Javed, a political activist and businessman on June 12th after serving just a day's notice to vacate goes against a 2020 ruling of the Allahabad High Court that issued a directive to the Uttar Pradesh government to allow a 30-day window for issuing a notice to the property owner. And finally, what would India be without Sunil Chetri is probably a question or statement that floods the metaverse almost every time the national team plays. It captures both India's plight without its talisman and the awe that Chetri inspires with his ridiculous levels of reliability. Since his debut, he scored almost a third of India's goals. With the captain turning 38 in two weeks, we take a look at his life and his journey in the Indian football team. And that's all for today's Morning Expresso. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Indian Express's YouTube channel for the latest news updates.